Hello there, if you want to create a free landing page using Canva, you are actually in the right place. So first of all, I'm going to go here into my Canva account. I must tell you guys that there is uh, Canva is totally for free, yes, but I can assure you that the Canva Pro has so much more features. So only for that, I'm going to give you 30 days free trial mode with the link that I'm going to leave you down below in the description. And you can check it out by yourself if it's worthy or not. And speaking about that, I'm going to be using a free, uh, some tools that are only available for the camera pro. So you might want to take that in mind. Um, yes, you can still do this for free, but it's going to be looking just, let's say a little bit more basic. There's not so much creative stuff in the Canva free version, so that's the reason why I want you guys to take a look here into the Canva Pro. So, uh, once you are here into Canva, you want to look for whether you want to start from scratch or you might want to look for a template. So, if you are here into Canva.com, you can go into the search of your content uh, or Canvas. And here I want to look for my, in the search bar, I want to look for a keyword called landing page and in here is going to be appearing the templates that Canva has to offer to me so as you can see this one speaks about business analysis a webinar an illustrator online there are so much more uh, things that we can use in order to create a landing page so the great feature about using templates it's just the fact that we don't have to start from scratch right so it's really really simple just to choose let's say for example that I'm really interested into this one and uh, as you can see there's no button there's no sign that this is uh, for Canva Pro so we can use this to leave it free so I'm gonna just click into the, the the image into the template and it's gonna be popping up this new section where I can select all my elements all this sections and I can uh, start to design that as I wanted to so if you want to I'm gonna just assume this like this and I want to focus into what I want to change so this depending on the brand that I'm uh, that I have here let's say that I want to change my colors I can totally do that so for example here this is a square a brown square and I want to see this like blue and I want to do something like this right so we are just making some design depending on the brand that you are looking for and if you want let's say that you want to uh, focus into painting so into elements I want to look for painting I want to look for some images or let's say that I'm interested into this one or into this one so I just need to drag that in here at the center of where the other image and if I want to move this part let's say for example something like this or something just a little bit more like this right so I just need to fit my own stuff and it's looking so much more interesting right so let's say for example this is like a landing page speaking about some uh, free webinar and then I can put it here like sign up for sign up today something like that and here you can just customize your stuff I want to scroll down and what I can do is to do exactly the same thing with all these features I mean I can just take a look um, into it what the, if it's worthy or not for me to just um, edit my stuff right so here it is I can change the colors once again it's really really easy to use this it's really really simple and if you are good to go let's say for example that I'm okay with this um, landing page I'm not gonna be focusing into the content I just want to be focusing here to the design so you guys can take advantage of your landing page right so now that you have here your landing page already created successfully done you want to look for the search uh, section here and you want to download out this if you want to use a landing page you want to use uh, whether you are using MailChimp or another kind of uh, newsletter creator in my case I'm gonna be using mail uh, Chimp here because I can make I can share all my uh, landing page and lastly guys I want to add a page or in my case I'm just gonna delete this contact option because if you want to create a landing page let's say for example that you want to use this uh, tool in order to let people put their contact options 
So I want to delete this icon. I want to put something like this. And now what I want to do is to share what I've just done here. I want to create the size, for example, I'm gonna just leave it like that, PNG. Go into download and I can import that into the page where I want to create my landing page. So if you want to, if you are using another tool, if you're using another template, if you're using another website, you can just import that so you can add the sign up button. And in my case, I currently using MailChimp. I just need to uh, choose an image, upload the one that we just created, which is actually in here. And then lastly, what I just need to do is to add the sign up button because I want people to leave the email in order to continue, right? So here as you can see, here is my stuff. I want to delete this, this text button. I want to delete this other, this doesn't work for me. This does not fail. I do want to use this block. So I'm gonna use this and move that. Let's say for example, I just want to change the filament section. And here's the button. Here's the subscribe button. Link to web address and I put here my web address, right? So for example, I'm gonna stick around with this one and get into, okay. I can save and close and I'm just good to go. If you just want to use Canva to create here your landing page, if you want to create a button, uh, well, it's gonna be just a little bit more difficult than that, but I can strongly suggest you to leave all your elements already, uh, let's say done. So in here, let's say for example, I want to put button. And I kinda like this one. I'm gonna add that and put that in here. I just need to change the color um, something like this, for example, or a little bit more darker. And here I want to input the text, which is, let's say, for example, I'm just going to create something just really, really simple for the purpose of this tutorial. Clicked, um, sign up now, right? And change your color into white and move that and drag that in here. And you're actually good to go. So just lastly, select your two elements, group them. So you can be using this as one element and later you can just import that into the current website that you want to uh, send your landing page or all the emails you want to send this landing page, which is actually too much easier for, for us. Even you can create a QR code and here's going to be popping up this QR. So I just need to resize this and boom, there's a lot of options that we can choose in order to create some landing page. And we didn't have to spend absolutely anything speaking about the Canva Pro version. But speaking about elements, speaking about all the facts that you can use. Uh, for example, the magic recommendations, all these symbols are only for uh, Canva Pro. If you want to see how this um, Canva Pro works for yourself, uh, once again, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can take a look. Um, let's say in a very creative way if, if this is worthy or not for you. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Hopefully this was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, good luck with your stuff and I will see you next time.